Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on percentages. Today we're going to look at percentages and we will understand how to find out the percentage of a given number, particularly a whole number. We're also going to look at how to um, look at percentage reductions and percentage increases. So here we are. Here's some basic information about percentages. Percent the word means it's part of a hundred. Part of a hundred, so that's an important aspect to it. The cent part meaning 100. So percentages are typically always out of 100. Also, we need to understand that if we were to write a percentage as a fraction, then the bottom number would always be 100. So for example, here we have 10%, which if written as a fraction would be 10 over 100. Also, a fraction um, is, is remembering that the bottom number is 100. 100% 100 of anything would be equal to the whole amount. So whatever it is we're looking for, 100% represents all of it. So here's some examples and how we go about calculating it. First of all, there is a formula that you need to remember. The percentage that we're looking for, if that is divided by 100 and then multiplied by the amount of which we're trying to find the percentage, that formula will work every time. Some examples. If we're asked in a question to perhaps find 20% of 397, then we would write it out like this. 20 divided by 100 and then multiplied by 397 would give us the answer of 79.4. Another example. 34% of 759.34. Again, using the same formula, 34 divided by 100 multiplied by 759.34 would give us an answer of 258.18. So what you need to notice from this is that the formula for every type of percentage question of this type is the same. All we have done is move the numbers around. We have just changed the numbers to fit that formula. Percentage divided by 100 times the amount. Here's some examples for you to try. Three questions here for you to try. Pause the video, have a go at the questions and see if you get them right. Okay, then moving on. We have sometimes to require to reduce a figure by a given percentage. So in this example, a TV that costs £480 is reduced in a sale by 40%. So our question is, how much will it cost after the 40% reduction? Here's how we go about it. To work out the percentage, we must use the following formula, as we have already established that same percentage formula. Percent divided by 100, multiplied by the amount. In this case, we have 40, our percentage, divided by 100, because it's always a part of a 100 as a fraction, then we multiply that by 480 to get 192. Now, this question is about reducing the figure by a certain percentage, so we now have to take our answer, 192, from the original cost. So that sum is 480 minus 192 gives us an answer of 288, which is how much the TV will now cost. And then moving on to increases of percentages. Here's an example again. If we have a house that costs £140,000 and the economy has affected the house prices in such that the following year perhaps the house price has gone up 15%. So we need to know in this question how much is the house priced at now with a 15% increase. So again, work out 15% of the original cost using the same formula. 15 divided by 100 multiplied by 140,000 will give us an answer of 21,000. We now need to add the two figures together because we are looking for a percentage increase. So 140 plus 21 equals 161,000 pounds for the new price of the house. So just a brief recap for this session. It means part of 100. That's an important thing to remember about percent. That's what the word means. 100% is equal to the whole amount of whatever it is we're looking at and the percentage that we're looking for represents a portion of that, usually less than 100%. What is that portion? Our formula to find that out is percent divided by 100 multiplied by the amount. Okay, thank you for your time. Good luck in your tests.